All right, so today I wanted to do a quick video uh, comparing the Milwaukee Fuel quarter inch impact driver versus the Bauer 20 volt um, quarter inch impact driver. Um, some might say right off the bat this is an unfair test. Uh, this, this Milwaukee tool is considerably more money than the Bauer tool. But I wanted to do a comparison running some uh, three inch standard lags with a impact rated driver in some pressure treated wood just to see how they compared to to one another uh, for this test we're going to be using one and a half amp hour batteries on each the milwaukee and the bauer uh, they are both fully charged <clears throat> each of the batteries do come with a indicator lamp to show you the charge level in them which is actually a pretty nice feature for a cheaper cheaper setup like this um, the Bauer setup I picked up the the tool the charger and the battery it came in a bag for $69 um, the Milwaukee fuel set this was part of another set that come with the hammer drill and uh, two five amp hour batteries the hammer drill the driver and a charger that was $399 so let's first thing I want to show you guys is the voltage level of these batteries show you on my multimeter here um, so the Milwaukee claims to be an 18 volt battery but it actually charges out to be 20.6 volts and then on the Bauer <clears throat> The Bauer is 20 volt battery also, and that one charged to be 20.7 volts. So pretty comparable to what they actually, you know, finish charging at. <clears throat> Another thing I want to show you guys is the the chargers I have here. When I, I I just recently bought this, maybe an hour ago, I immediately put this on the charger, and I put the Milwaukee battery that I had on the charger. The Milwaukee battery finished considerably faster than the Bauer did, and they were both at the same um, <clears throat> level with the light here. So if you look at right here, this the Bauer is rated for 1.7 amps output, and the Milwaukee battery charger, this is their standard M18 charger which also charges their 12 volt series um, the output on this one is going to be 3 amps so right off the bat this is considerably faster than this again I know this is more of a pro a pro grade tool this is more of like a DIY homeowner tool um, but again I just wanted to see performance wise what how it's stacked up to it so this um, Bauer tool it's approximately two inches longer this way uh, the height on the tool is actually about the same uh, the, the diameter in the back cap here is roughly the same the Milwaukee has one LED light right here quick disconnect chuck comes with the belt clip I think the Bauer might have come with the belt clip also but I didn't put it on there um, the Milwaukee also came with the bit holder installed. <clears throat> On the Bauer, you also have LED lamps. You got three of them right here. I kind of like that setup here better on the on the Bauer. Uh, it seems like you'd get better light output. Again, I haven't used this in in that situation. I actually see, but just looking at it, it does look like it would be better to to light up the area. Um, <clears throat> So one thing with the Milwaukee that I noticed whenever I bought it is typically you have to pull this collar forward while you're trying to insert the bit inside to get it to to snap in there. With this Milwaukee, you just got to push it. That's locked in. And then when you want to release, you pull the collar forward. The Bauer here, it, you have to pull this collar first to get it to go inside of the uh, indentation to hold the bit. Not really a big deal, just something that I noticed. So let me set up the 4x4 treated lumber and we'll put each tool to the test. We'll, we'll continually run 
screws um, these three inch lags in the four by four lumber until the first until one of them dies and then we'll compare who got the most screws out of out of each <clears throat> all right so we're gonna start with the milwaukee driver first you can tell that the tool is uh teating up just a little bit but it is getting a little weaker it's on the last bar <clears throat> it as you can see uh, the flashing lights on this one means that it's actually overheated so let's see the temperature on this so the back half it looks like we're 115 degrees so we ended up getting 2 4 6 8 10 12 14 16 18 20 22 24 26 28 30 32 34 35 and we started on the last one um, so that's 35 of them and we also took out 33 of them because those two ended up getting stripped out or I accidentally ran it too far down so let me load up a new fresh piece here um, this this is from the same exact piece of lumber that I just went and picked up at Home Depot they're not two separate things I ended up cutting it down to the 30 inches and let's see how the bower does <clears throat> okay so now we're set up we got a fresh piece of wood here let's let's go ahead and do the same test with the bower one thing i noticed whenever i uh reset the test here is you know just from this sitting here it does it does still have a little bit of juice left in it uh, i think we could probably get a few more but i ran this until it stopped uh, with these lithium tools they have a protection in them so you don't end up overheating the lithium and causing any issues with that so this is probably going to have the same type of thing so we'll run this until it stops also So considerably slower right off the hop on this. So let's check out the battery life. Still got three bars on there after those six holes.
down one bar so far after 12 holes. thing is starting to slow down you can tell it's getting a little warm That's it for the bower. Uh, it's still showing one bar, but we got nothing here. So the bower ended up doing 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20, 22, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29. And then it started the last one here. Um, so I think the I think it was 35 on the Milwaukee fuel. So this this actually didn't do too bad here. Uh, it was considerably slower. I can tell it was a lot slower. It is it is rated for you know less foot pounds, but for the price of this thing, it did pretty damn good. <clears throat> Let me know in the comments if you guys want to see me test other. Harbor Freight type tools or put different tools head to head and I will uh, see what I can do. Thanks for watching.